Red Band. So, as you guys know, if you watch Kill Tony, you'll know that Red Band, who's the producer and co-host of Kill Tony, he's kind of like, his role on the show is to be the butt of the jokes a little bit. That's kind of his role. He's a bit of a mess. He looks like he doesn't wash. He's got a weird voice. So you can get why people want to make him the butt of the jokes. But he's also an integral part of, you know, comedy podcast history. He was the original founder of the JRE, Rogan Show, until he got fired by Rogan. And he replaced him with Jamie because he couldn't Google properly. But he's been around comedy forever. He's got his own comedy club in Austin, Texas. He's been doing Kill Tony with um, Tony Hinchcliffe from the start. So he's no, he's a, he's a made guy. But you'd imagine being a made guy, you know, you'd le- you deserve a level of respect from people, especially your fellow co-host. Well, it seems like Tony Hinchcliffe kind of tolerates Red Band. And there's people out there, um, specifically Red, Red Bar, who I heard talk about it recently in the free episode of his show. Red Bar basically is saying that he has a feeling that Tony Hinchcliffe is getting... He's letting the hype, he's letting the gas get to his head, especially after the Tommy Brady roast. And most likely, he will end up replacing Red Band. There will come a point where he will tell Red Band to skedazzle, the same way Rogan told him to skedazzle, which will be super unfair. Because most likely, when Hinchcliffe, or if Hinchcliffe does tell Red Band to go away, or to fuck off, it will be when he's about to sign a big deal. And there's rumours or the suggestion that he might be working with Netflix or another big streaming platform. So imagine, you do all that work, you're in the trenches with this guy, you build this thing up, and then just as it's about to blow, just as you're about to get like life-changing money, to secure your future, your family's future, he suddenly goes, you know what, I don't want you anymore. Hope that's not true, but that might be the case. So big up this clip, Kirsch of the Kill Tony subreddit, where people are saying that Tony Hinchcliffe is being unnecessarily rude and a bit of a cunt to Red Band and this might be because he's starting to get fed up with him and he wants to replace him and eventually have Kill Tony all for himself. But um Asleep, Cleveland. I did do some sets in Chicago, Nashville, Jerusalem. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no. Hallelujah. If you're gonna fucking do it, do it. <laughs> Jesus fucking a sleepy so head over that. here. No, My over. God. Oh, you're over it? Good. I'm glad you're over it, Red Man. Oh, moving forward with all of your creative nature. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lord's name. He's right there. <laughs> good Jesus Christ. Yo. Yo. Anybody talks to me like that? Yo. But it's, it must be hard. It must be hard in that scenario. That power dynamic. The clout. The money. I know it's difficult, but you can't let people talk to you like this, man. You, you just can't. That's kind of brutal. That's really unfair. No, and again, this is a small clip. It might be taken out of context. Maybe they were goofing about it before. But this does seem a little bit mean. I'm not going to lie. I love it. Absolutely. So, uh, okay. Red Band? I'll be in, uh, J- in July. I'll be in San Diego with Casey Rock. Is that Check still out. not sold out? They, no, they just released new tickets. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> AmericanComedyCode.com. Wow. Help Red Band fill up the comedy club he's been promoting for months in San Diego, people. The entire city of San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Imagine someone did that to Brendan. Imagine if Callum did that to Brendan. I think he might I think he might commit a murder live on air. Live on pod, he might commit an absolute murder. If Callum tried to do that to Brendan. <laughs> Raha, you still you're still promoting that. <laughs> you just imagine. That is so unnecessarily mean. Wow. It's a comedy club. People buy tickets for Red Band show. <laughs> Look, even Sam Talent's not uh, Sam Talent's not laughing. He's a bit he's been a bit uncomfortable. He's just sitting there looking like, what the fuck's going on? Sam Talent doesn't find it funny. He's like, is that your boy? You guys are friends. You sure? <laughs> um, Thanks for all the support, <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh one person is actually laughing another person is trying to you know laugh so they don't cry 
Jesus, look at the contrast. One guy might go home and, you know, strangle his Asian wife. Another guy might go on grinder and suck everybody off because he's so happy. Jesus Christos, this is mean. <laughs> okay, okay. That's the situation we're in at the moment. That's the situation we're in at the moment. Red Band might be on a chopping block because Tony Hinchcliffe is starting to feel himself and I kind of feel bad for, for Red Band, I'm not going to lie. Even though he looks like he smells, he looks like he looks like the kind of guy who his forearm smell. Like if you smell his forearm, it'd be like a bit stinky. But he is a legend. He's been around forever. He deserves some level of success. So respect, sorry. And I think the fact that he's built this show from the ground up with Tony Hinchcliffe, he should get some of that respect. But we know how it is in podcast land. We know how it is in comedy broadcasting land. You don't get the respect that you deserve. You get the respect that you demand. And unfortunately, Hinchcliffe seems a bit passive, you know? He seems a bit passive. Seems a bit docile. He hardly seems like he's all there. So maybe this is his natural habitat. Maybe this is where he's always meant to end up. 